Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets midday update uh, on uh, the Tuesday, the uh, 28th of February 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app on the Google Play and Apple App Store or visit w.tradesignal.com. Okay, now in terms of uh, the uh, midday wrap up, you have the Asian markets are slightly higher. You have the uh, Nikkei and the Shanghai closing higher, but the Hang Seng down. Okay, and Sensec and Sing Sing uh, Singapore certainly lower as well. Now, in terms of the markets, we uh, certainly bait for Mr. Trump's comments. Now, we had an interview with Fox and friends, and uh, from my interpretation, it was negative. Uh, and we, like I said, we certainly await Mr. Trump's comments uh, to, with regards to his speech uh, in the evening, looking for directions in terms of fiscal uh, policy. Okay, now. In terms of the markets this morning, European data at present, you have FTSE up 5 points, 7.258, DAX up 6 at 11.830, CAC up 8. So more or less uh, in line with Asian, more or less flat stroke positive. Okay, and again, all in anticipation of Mr. Trump and uh, in terms of what we expect from him. Now, uh, European economic data, let's just quickly look at the data here. Uh, Let's just quickly go through this morning. Uh, GDP from France certainly came in more or less in line. Okay, CPI data, although the inflation data certainly came in on the weaker side. Consumer spending in line as well. Producer pr prices slightly weaker as well, so therefore dra drag on the euro. Uh, CPI from um, uh, Italy certainly came in slightly better than expected, although more or less in line, one could argue. And wage inflation certainly um, mixed as well. Now, US GDP numbers have come in. They actually came in weaker. GDP numbers, wholesale inventories and uh, balance of trade certainly came in weaker as well. Personal consumption expenditures came in on the weaker side. So again, core, core uh, PCE certainly coming in uh, on the weaker side too. Okay, now uh, in terms of Red Book, we're looking forward to Red Book's uh, index in terms of S&P K Shiller, whole price index, Chicago BMI and consumer confidence, Richmond Fed. Then we have three additional Fed speakers, API data as well. And then obviously we're looking forward to... Uh, uh, Mr. Trump in the evening and uh, his antics with regards to fiscal policy going forward. So, again, interesting um, outlook there. Okay, now, um, uh, technically speaking, let's just see exactly where this market stands so that we can uh, merge fundamentals with technicals together. Let's just go to the daily chart first and foremost. So, the, the German DAX certainly seems to be consolidating. Now, the daily chart, this is a pattern that everybody must watch on the daily chart of the German DAX, especially given the political uncertainty in Europe. That exists and the market certainly has ignored that thus far. Okay, certainly not priced in according to me. You do have a HNS formation down to uh, 11,500, so potentially even lower down to 11,400. So just be aware of that. You've consolidated within that bearish engulfing candle ever since today, ever since we rejected 12,000 and a German DAX. No real move higher, hasn't moved in line with the US markets. And US markets certainly abiding the time. Everybody wants to uh, give Mr. Trump the benefit of the doubt. Obviously, once he, uh, uh, he does decide to uh, unveil his policy tonight, I think from my perspective, it certainly is risk aversion. So HNS formation, the German DAX 60 minute chart. You have an unfilled gap here at 11.950. Watch out for that. OK, uh, again, looking for a lower high Fib 50, 61. 75% all in motion. Okay, previous support equals resist at 11,960. So, my understanding is that the DAX will remain below 11,950, 11,960, and then look to flush on the downside. You have a gap fill at uh, 11,670, gap fill at uh, 11,640, and then gap fill at uh, 11,540, and then obviously horizontal support 11,480. All those levels are going to come into play. That's my understanding, and that's my interpretation of the market thus far. In terms of the French CAC, let's quickly go to the daily chart here, folks. Okay, again, like I said, uh, the French CAC really is the weakest link out of, the, out of all the indices, given the fact that uh, you have political uncertainty. We've been consolidating within this uh, red candle, and you're looking at flush down to gap fill on horizontal support below. So buy is certainly negative on the French CAC. Again, previous support equals resistance here. 50% retracement has been holding thus far. Okay, you're looking at a flush at least down to double bottom to 4810, and then you have that unfilled gap below at 4760, 4770 to close. Okay, so again, political uncertainty emanating from France and obviously Dutch, uh, Netherlands, uh, again, looking to uh, cr create risk aversion. A FTSE 100, uh, we certainly have put in a bottoming tail at 7190, so watch out for that. We're consolidating sideways, and you have put in a potential double top on the FTSE itself, so therefore looking for further weakness. 60-minute chart consolidating below that previous support equals resistance held 50, 50, 50, 75 to 61 percent resistance looking for a lower high. Again, Scottish referendum is in the background, concerns regarding that. 
uh, Brexit concerns in the background again concerning concerns regarding that as well so just bear that in mind okay so you are looking for weakness for my interpretation of the FTSE especially given the fact that oil prices certainly are moving lower as well uh, 10 minute chart certainly is into resistance now looking to potentially test the low over here at 7245 and then that's the low that was put in yesterday at 7239 so watch out for that potential support now in terms of oil uh, FTSE like I said is dependent heavily upon oil and commodities given the fact that you are looking at rate hikes and Miss Yellen has talked about that Mr Kaplan as well yesterday was certainly hawkish too in terms of talking of rate hikes you are looking for the uh, the actual price of oil to flush as well the daily chart certainly is uh, indicating that the four hour chart from my understanding certainly is flushing lower as well as we speak and therefore looking for risk aversion okay in terms of the uh, euro stocks last but not least let's just quickly bring up the euro stocks for euro stocks at the moment let's just go to the daily chart folks and give you an insight here okay so daily chart at the moment consolidating after that double top really you're looking at a bear flag formation and then looking to flush lower so uh, same type of pattern here with regards to the uh, german dax as well you certainly have this uh, left shoulder head okay and you're basically consolidating for the right shoulder flush low okay and you certainly have a unfilled gap below here and you one gap you have closed one gap you haven't so the gap that you haven't closed is at 3240 price sanction as we always know closes the gap always does navigate or is uh, is navigated towards the gap is attracted to the gap and that gap certainly needs to close on the back of political uncertainty in europe okay so again that's where we stand okay folks on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that bonus goodbye now